Okay, I will explain uh, to consider a little bit a little bit complicated rule in the differentiation chapter. One is what we call it product rule, another one we call it quotient rule. Okay, actually this is nothing very special. Means because sometimes when you see the equations are very complicated, you will feel very hard to differentiate. So actually this rule is telling you how should you differentiate. So okay, let's have a look on the first one. Now when you see the equation like this, so what you need to do is you have to determine the first one you have to let this one become u and let this one become v because u v u v u and u then only until v so i let this one to u and this one become v okay so after that i have to differentiate okay so here is y here is x so we call it dy dx so therefore okay so we i want to dy dx but before i dy dx i have to okay if i let u will equal to 1 plus 4x and power of 3 and then okay v will equal to 2x minus 3 power of 2 okay so first i differentiate the u and x first differentiate u and x we call it du dx so this one will be du dx will equal to if you differentiate this one 3 we move in front okay we got a 3 here and then 1 plus 4x remember you have to differentiate inside one more time we got a 4 here okay and then we differentiate here this one we will call it okay Okay, we differentiate here this one we will call it dv dx because we differentiate v and x we call it dv dx same thing we move the two in front and then have to minus one oh yeah have to minus one so here three minus one you got power of two here okay so yes so we move two in front you will got two x minus three okay two minus one you got power one and then differentiate inside one more time 2x minus 3 you will got 2 okay after that you just multiply this number with this number this number with this number so 4 multiple 3 we got 12 so it's 1 plus 4x power of 2 so this one if you multiply 2 and 2 we got 4 okay we got 4 4 multiple 2x we got x 4 multiple negative 3 we got negative 12 okay then only we substitute the formula in okay you substitute the formula in okay you see this one is u so the formula the first step is you have to put u uh, u is this one so i write u will equal to 1 plus 4x cubed and then multiple with dv dx dvdx is here so actually this one is close over multiple let's close this one multiple this one and this one multiple this one so therefore 1 plus 4x cubed and then multiple xx minus 12 then plus remember middle is the plus then we plus this one multiple this one v is v will be okay I, I just write bottom not enough place v is 2x minus 3 power of 2 okay multiple du dx du dx is this one this one multiple this one will be 12 multiple 1 plus 4x square therefore you can factorize out okay both also got 1 plus 4x square then I just factorize 1 plus 2x square. Well, you just factorize 1 plus 4x square. And then this is actually is a cube here. So after you factorize out square, you still left 1 plus 4x here. So you are still left 1 plus 4x. And then multiple x minus 12. 
and then multiple and then plus 2x minus 3 square and then multiple 12 okay of course you can you can uh, like multiple everything in by yourself then you will get a very okay you will get a very long equations then after that you have to simplify here i just show you the rule in how to do this kind of question okay same thing for for quotient rule quotient rule same thing you have to let the top one become u bottom one become v okay then what you need to do is okay you need to okay then you will need to solve it one by one so first like just now i write here will be u equal to x square minus 4 square v will be 1 plus 2x and then i differentiate here we call it du dx will equal to move the tr 2 in front so i got 2 here so this one will be x square minus 4 and then this one we will got 2 minus 1 we got 1 okay and then differentiate inside one more time we will have 2x okay and then we differentiate this one we call it dv dx because v and x so we have got 2 here okay so then we apply the formula in so dy dx will equal to okay same thing you have to cross over multiple but remember you have to put the v first so v multiple du dx and then u multiple dv dx and then divided by v square so first i put in v multiple multiple du dx so v we got 1 plus 2x multiple du dx 2x multiple 2 we have got 4x 4x multiple x x square minus 4 and then minus minus u multiple dv dx so u is u we got x square minus 4 square multiple 2 okay then divide by v square v square is 1 plus 2x square okay so and then you just solve the equation by yourself you can you can get the dy dx but actually be, be honest this two rule you you are seldom got chance to use in the real exam because so far i go through most of the i go through most of the past year question it's hardly to see these kinds of complicated uh, equation and ask you to solve and actually you got one or two years past year exam you got some similar example like this and then this is like three three to four marks question in paper one at max however it's very important to introduce this rule for you in just in case in the exam you see some something like this means the power is very big and then you do not do not know how to differentiate you can use this way okay i think that's all for this video thanks for watching